ಓಂ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಸ್ವಸ್ವಭಾವ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಹಾಯ್ ಐಮ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಿರ್ಮಲಾನಂದ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಮೌಥ್ಫುಲ್ ಐ ನೋ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಮಿ ಗುರು ದೇವಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದಿ ಆಥರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೆಲ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈಟನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಯುರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸರ್ ಟು ಈವನ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವೇ ಇನ್ ಟು ಇನ್ ಲೈಟನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ what yoga calls self realization and to help you understand the process while you're going through it here you are watching a video about stages of enlightenment how did you get here you may be the only one in your family or circle of friends who's considering taking this telecourse or pa- or perhaps one of just a few what is it about you that brings you to the doorstep of self realization here you are knocking on the door wanting in something propels you forward something powerful maybe even uncomfortable sometimes something undeniable a question that must be answered or a quest that must be fulfilled other people around you don't seem to be moved by this unnameable force what is it yoga's sages speak very highly of it mumukshitva in sanskrit the longing for liberation also described as the yearning for god In his text, the sage Patanjali honors this yearning as the the single most important factor in the pace of your spiritual progress. Yoga Sutras 1.21, Tivra Samvegan Asana. The inner depth is closest to those who desire it most strongly. this yearning makes you unable to bear the inner emptiness yet paradoxically it is the yearning that fills you up for myself this yearning was the theme of my life since before i could explain it i remember feeling it from before the age of 5 yet i know that it's been there longer it's been a theme for lifetimes you are here because you yearn to know just like i did this yearning is a great blessing one you have earned from doing deep spiritual practices in previous lifetimes you have meritorious spiritual karma yet even more than this It is your life's purpose to seek and to find. This is what makes you different. This is what makes you different even when you don't want to be. Om Namah Shivaya. In 1988, spirituality was coming out of the closet in America. Bill Moyers interviewed interviewed Joseph Campbell in a television mini series called The Power of Myth. I remember it well. It was compelling for me. One line stood out for me in those amazing interviews which are now available online as they discussed the spiritual yearning that is a theme in so many of the ancient myths. Joseph Campbell said everyone experiences it but not everyone acts on it shocked i spoke aloud to the empty room how could they feel it and not act on it that feeling for me had been so constant so painful so powerful so deep and so familiar it was like a toothache that had no epicenter it was a heartache that wasn't touched by love 
Oh, I tried. Whether I loved others or I allowed myself to feel the love they had for me, the ache in my heart was untouched. I had wondered, maybe there's something deeply wrong with me. Everyone else was satisfied by the good things of life, but I cried out again and again, incredulously, this is it? This is all life offers? Psychology didn't help. (sighs) Neither did church. Crying did sometimes, but sometimes not. I loved to sing the blues. Sometimes I'd find a song that would reach deep enough inside. So I dove into music, but it wasn't consistent or reliable either. I searched in the many corners of life. Some were filled with light and some hidden in deep shadow. But nothing worked for me. So I tried to give up the search itself. But then I felt like I was dying. The yearning. It's so painful. Yet it's the only thing that keeps you alive. So when I heard the words that Joseph Campbell said, everyone experiences it, but not everyone acts on it, I couldn't believe my ears. I had assumed that they didn't feel the same painful, yet life-giving inner angst, which is why they could live sepia-toned lives. I wanted Technicolor. Yoga explains that everyone does feel the yearning, but most most people find ways to divert it into other, more conventional, safer things. One text gives a mathematical formula about how this works, which my guru explained this way. Out of 100 who feel the yearning, one recognizes it as a yearning for something the world cannot provide. Out of 100 who recognize it as a spiritual yearning, only one looks for a guru. Out of 100 who look for a guru, only one who finds a master who can give the experience as well as the teachings. Out of 100 who find such a master, Only one opens their heart and mind. Out of a hundred who open their heart and mind, only one does the discipline. Out of a hundred who do the discipline, only one comes to know God. Which one are you? I invite you to join me in this telecourse, Enlightenment, Stages, and Steps. Om Swarupa Swaswa Bhava Namo Namaha.